Hello mga kateki. On this video, I will show you some of the cases I have for the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Um, all the cases here will be from Spigen. It is a uh, cases made in Korea, South Korea, pero based yata sila sa California. So anyway, I was not able to get uh, cases from other brands. Ito lang talaga, Spigen lang talaga. And this is like two models or two types of cases they have and in different colors. So the first uh, type I have is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Yan, gal for the Galaxy Fold. Ito yung box niya, medyo makapal kumpara sa ibang cases or sa ibang packaging for other phone cases or phone, phone models. Siguro dahil nga makapal yung case for the Galaxy Fold. Yan o, no, makapal, makapal. Anyway, so kung mapapansin nyo, here's the Galaxy Fold and para siyang clear case. Yes, Spigen Ultra Hybrid is like Ring Key Fusion. Uh, shockproof siya, para siyang bumper type sa size and then clear lang usually sa back part nung case. So, open natin to later. I also have here the Thin Fit series in four colors. Um, eto, kung titingin sa uh, box, para siyang lavender, uh, no, not lavender, but violet, right? Pero sa box nakalagay, it's astro blue. So, siguro, at some point, yun nga, uh, siguro, yun nga yung color na astro blue, I don't know. Pero pag tinignan mo mismo yung case, para siyang violet. And then, I also have here the Spig and Thin Fit in Satin Silver. Yeah, itong color na to, um, available din siya for other phone models, pero itong astro blue, parang yung ko lang to nakita. And then, of course, the most common color is the black. Matte black to. So, para sa mga gustong simple lang or uh, medyo low profile yung case at madaling ternohan, black usually ang kinukuha nila. And the last color is, my favorite one, is the Martian green na parang yellow na parang um, apple green. Ganyan ang color. So, let's open this all and show you the differences or a, a little comparison so i have here the three or sorry the four colors of the spigen thin fit matte black satin silver uh martian green Tama ba? yes martian green and the astro blue yeah ang ganda diba ang ganda ng colors niya in fairness but of course dito also martian green because it's sort of like yellow Pero, nag-iiba yung color niya depende sa reflection or sa tama ng light. And then, this one is the satin silver. Very uh, simple. Yung uh, matte din siya, hindi siya glossy. And then, ito yung astro blue. Diba? Meron siyang tama na parang um, violet, may tama na parang blue. Parang nag-iiba-iba yung color niya. Depende sa tama ng lighting. And then, of course, the black. This one is matte then Although, ito kasi yung dalaw. Um, actually, wait. Let me compare. Matte talaga siya. Kumpara dito. So, parang metallic pala tong tatlo. Yes, metallic yung color nila. And, of course, this one is the matte black. Um, I have here as well yung case from the box, yung carbon fiber. Very thin. Very thin case as in. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parang mas may protection to sa camera part kasi may bump. Unlike this one, halos flat. Pero syempre, meron tong Galaxy Fold. Para siyang emblem. And then, uh, syempre, dahil uh, maganda yung texture niya, carbon fiber talaga. And it's bendable. So, very slim lang to, kung itong gagamitin nyo, yung out of the box. And then, um, itong, itong Spig and Thin Fit, medyo makapal. Let me just show you. Ayan. So, kita nyo naman, ang nipis talaga nito, medyo makapal to. So, for uh, protection lang sa scratches, pwede na to. Pero kung mababagsak, parang mas may protection tong uh, hard case na Spig and Thin Fit. Tapos, makikita nyo, meron lo may logo dito at name ng Spigen. 
Um, tapos ito sa loob, tatanggalin yan eh. Parang yun dito. Para kahit paano may dikit. May adhesive part. Although ito may ga Samsung Galaxy Fold branding sa loob. Ito wala. Eh, nothing. But, uh, based sa instruction inside nung box, ayan. Kasama to sa box. May mga, may mga tatanggalin kang uh, adhesive tape. Para kahit paano may kapit to dun sa mismong unit. Sa side na to, meron din, of course. There. And there. Sa taas. Sa sides, wala. Yes, wala dito. Unlike yung isa. Pero, tinry ko itong i-fit kanina. Um, parang hindi naman kailangan tanggalin yung adhesive part. Parang, kasi parang may clip uh, sound or clipping sound pag ginamit mo sa fold. Also, dito sa side na to, makikita niya Spigen in, in Irvine, California. Made in South Korea, GFTF. Ayan, may marking. On this side, there is as well a marking. Same thing ang nakasulat. Yun, may marking. What else? So, wala naman. Sa, sa openings ng case, let's compare it. Uh, kung makikita nyo, parehong, of course, may camera openings. Dito sa uh, top part, mas malaki yung opening nito yung Spigen 10 Fit. Ito, may pabilog lang siya. On the bottom part, uh, mas protected sa Spigen 10 Fit kasi medyo mas cover. Naka-open lang USB, yung sa USB Type-C and sa mic. Ito talaga mas malaki yung opening. Sa sides, uh, same lang halos. Although mas malaki na konti itong opening nito. Pero hindi naman fully cover yung sa Spigen 10 Fit. On the other part ng case or ng phone, which is this one. So, kung mapapansin nyo, halos parehas lang opening. Medyo mas malaki lang yung mga butas dito kumpara dito. And then, of course, the screen, same lang. And then, on the sides, yan. Ito, full yung coverage. Ito, parang may konting angat dito. Sa bottom part, same lang. Tapos, kung makikita nyo, speak and thin fit, may cut dito para mag-snap siya dun sa case. Dahil nga hard case siya at mas makapal siya kumpara dito. Kailangan nyo ng mga cut para talagang mag-fit siya dun sa phone. So, besides the four colors of speak and thin fit, syempre meron din speak and ultra hybrid. This is the shockproof one. Um, sa rinky um, cases, ito ang kalaban ng rinky fusion. Yes. Kasi medyo makapal siya sa size for the sh para maging shockproof siya. And then usually clear lang siya sa likod or sa other part ng phone. And then dahil two-piece siya, let me, eto siya o. Oh. Wait, let me show you. Ganito yung itsura niya kung nakalagay siya sa case or sa phone. Ayan. Um, I'm not just sure pero kung mapapansin niyo all of them, Hindi cover yung ganito. Dahil nga siguro yung technology ni Samsung Galaxy Fold kakaiba. Wala pa silang um, design para ma-close din to. What you can do is maybe uh, put on a film or a plastic uh, transparent film. Yung parang screen protector ganon. Wrap or sticker para siguro hanggang dito ma-protectan. Pero in fairness, I've been using my Galaxy Fold for days now. Almost weeks na ata. Or uh, almost a week na. Hindi naman siya gasgasin sa part na to. Ang gamit ko lang noon ay ito. Ngayon pa lang akong gagamit ng same fit. Um, pag tinanggal to, so makikita nyo, clear siya, pero hindi siya crystal clear. Um, frosted, meron siyang ano, micro dot technology. Kaya medyo malabo. The, the thing is, para pag nakadikit yung phone dun sa mismong case, wala siyang rainbow effect or moist. Para kita mo pa rin yung unit. Tas, uh, maganda pa rin yung pagka-clear niya. And then, kung makita nyo may black lining, malamang ito yung adhesive part para dumikit to ka sa mismong unit. Um, here's the other side. May adhesive din. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, dito lang din sa sides. Compare dito sa Spigen Thin Fit, ang adhesive niya dito ay sa sides. Ang adhesive nito ay dito sa taas at dito sa baba. Yan, magkaiba. 
it's because ito kasi naalagaan niya yung itsura niya it's because clear case nga siya so kung mapapansin niyo meron siyang marking dito pero ito you can read it from outside ito kasi you have to uh, a solid color sa loob ang basa or inside reading ito sa labas pero same lang din ang nakalagay Tapos, what else? Kahit dito sa isang, sa kabilang part, micro, may micro dot technology. I don't know if, if you can see it sa camera ko, pero there's a micro dot technology sa mismong case. On the other side, there's a Spigen brand or name here at the side. Kung i-compare natin to dito sa Spigen Thin Fit, I think what I can feel is this one is more bulky than this one. It is because this is a shockproof case. Proven na may, um, mas mataas ang protection na mabibigay kumpara sa Spig and Thin Fit. So, it's um, bulkier. And kung mapapansin nyo, mas malalim yung camera protection kumpara dito. Yo, dito makapal talaga, oh. Talaga hindi ta tama yung camera part if ilalagay if ibababa niyo sa table or something. Um, let's compare it to the stock case. Ayan. So camera hole and then dito um ayan, merong opening dito. Dito bilog lang. And then sa sides Tingnan natin sa Spig and Thin Fit. So, sa Spig and Thin Fit, just like the uh, stock case, opening lang siyang ganyan. Pero, dito sa Spig and Ultra Hybrid, covered yung buttons. Tap, tapos, meron lang opening dito para sa fingerprint. Pero, yung volume rockers and the power button, it's covered with the... Um, madali naman itong pinutin, sigurado. And then, um, on the lower part, talagang open dito, eto, just like the um, Spig and Thin Fit, may opening, may hole, and then the USB Type-C. But, compared to the Spig and Thin Fit, dito sa sides, fully covered, eto may cut. It's because, um, medyo rubber type yung uh, material nito. Unlike dito na hard plastic talaga. So, on the other side, this one, wait, yeah. So, same lang sila ng opening sa harap. Sa top part, um, you, this one is the, ano ba to? USB Type-C ba to sa camera? This one, same lang. Yan. Tapos sa sides, may konting um, opening dito. Pero ito, fully cover. Yan, buong sides, fully cover. And then at the bottom, yun lang, same opening lang. So, ayun lang, kung mapapansin ninyo, the thinness is the stock case, the second one is the Spig and Thin Fit, and the most, or the bulky one is the Spig and Ultra Hybrid. But of course, it gives more protection than the other two. If you want, if you want something to just uh, protect you from scratches, you can go with the Spig and Thin Fit, or the uh, stock case. If you want something colorful, you can go with the Spig and Thin Fit. If you want something clear to showcase the phone, you can go with the Spig and Ultra Hybrid. Uh, for me, um, I am good with the stock case, but because of the color of this, I am using uh, this one starting today. I will also try this. Uh, Medro, I'm just not sure how will this look like. So, I'll show you na lang each. Um, pag nakabitya sa mismong phone. So, here's my phone. The Samsung Galaxy Fold. Medyo matagal ko na siyang gamit. Hindi naman ako ganun ka um, ingat. Okay naman. Para namang hindi naman ako ganun nag-adjust sa kanya. Although, lagi siyang nakaklose. I want to use it bare. I'm just not sure. Kasi, um, medyo fingerprint magnet siya. I don't like how it looks. And of course, ayoko rin naman na mahulog siya at wala siyang protection. So, pag ito ang gamit, yung uh, stock case, you just snap it on and just be sure na everything's in line. 
So, makikita nyo, it looks good. And walang fingerprint na natitira. And it's very slim. Everything uh, you need. It's not, uh, what you call this? My grip siya. It's not madulas. Try the other case. Yung Spig and Thin Fit in Martian Green. Madali lang naman din siya ikabit. Ayan. May instructions sa box, pero just like any other case, snap it on lang. Just be sure na you will hear the clicking sound. So, on this part, just snap it on. Yan. So, you see. Ganda naman, di ba? I like how it changes its color pag tinatamaan ng um, ilaw. So, you can see open dito. Yan yung mga opening. Speaker grill, USB Type-C, the mic. May konting opening dito but it's okay. And then, this one is talagang fully open. And then, um, this one is a SIM card tray. Let me just be sure. Okay, so mic lang pala siya. Mic or sensor. or And then, the speaker grill again. So, ayan siya. Pag sarado, ayan. Not bad. Ayan. So, cover on all sides. And then, let's try the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Um, usually, people use this yung mas uh, gusto ng better protection or they want something that's clear. Mahilig din ako sa clear case but I'm more of a ring fusion case of a gal instead of Spigen Ultra Hybrid. I don't know. Maybe because mas mura si ring key. Wait, okay. So, in-snap it on ko siya. Medyo mas iba lang yung way ng uh, installation or pagkakabit. Kasi nga, dahil wala siya mga cuts, tapos mas makapal siya. What I do is, I push both sides, papunta sa gitna, to check if they are fully installed or in line with the buttons and the openings. So, ayan. Wait, what happened? Okay, so let's click. Yan. So, kung makikita nyo, okay naman. Sa sides, fully cover, openings, openings, fully cover again. And then the fingerprint sensor and then the buttons are uh, covered. And then, this is the back part. Uh, halos di naman kita yung adhesive, di ba? It's black, but parang di naman kita. And then, it's not really uh, crystal clear. More of a uh, frosted clear. I don't know kung sa smudges lang siya. Pero, hindi naman siya sobrang frosted. Hindi rin siya sobrang crystal clear. But, it will do naman for people who likes it on clear cases. So, ayan siya pag sinara dito sa size na to. Parang kumapal siya, no? Kumpara sa, that, sa ibang case. Ayan. Tapos, chinecheck ko kasi parang ang nagdidikit talaga yung mismong case. Hindi yung unit. I don't know if it will help if you will put on the adhesive or tatanggalin natin yung adhesive gagamitin natin. Pero so far, so good. It's not that bulky naman. It's still okay. My grip then I'm just uh, concerned with the smudges. Just like using it bare, may smudges siya. And it's very typical naman or very common with clear cases na may smudges siya. Yung pindutan niya, madali naman. See? Tingnan natin pag... Yung volume rockers, ayan, madali naman. So, no problem with the button. So, it's all, all up to you now if you want something clear um, with added protection, uh, drop protection, or we'll go with uh, something colorful with a speak and thin fit, or you'll be satisfied with the stock case from the box. This one's okay, actually. 
I just want something hip, something colorful, something something different. So yun lang guys. So again, thank you for watching me with this semi or a little comparison of the cases I have. The Spig and Thin Fit in four colors, matte black, uh, Martian green, astro blue, and of course the satin silver. And then uh, the Spig and Ultra Hybrid case. Of course, it's in clear color and all from Spigen. If you want to buy it, I have here, uh, I also sell it from my uh, online store. Not Miss Techie, but Techie Hub. Just look for the Facebook page. Search for Techie Hub. You can also check my Facebook page, Miss Techie. And please subscribe on this YouTube channel for more videos soon. Bye-bye, mga ka-Techie!